everybody, and um, can I start by acknowledging the country as well and pay my respects uh, to us both past and the present, uh, which is a very important thing to do because uh, where I come from, um, we have an incredibly strong Aboriginal community, and uh, they make an enormous contribution to our state through now cultural tourism, uh, and of course also through industry, industries like fishing and what have you. So, I, I, you know, representing uh, 3,000 Aboriginal people in the set of i I'm very pleased to be on that welcome to the um, Tony, thank you for having me. Um, I'm not as exciting as Gladys. Um, I'm sure she got a fantastic address. Uh, but, um, you know, we couldn't have a better premier than what we do uh, in New South Wales. And uh, no doubt when she spoke, she no doubt touched on transport. Uh, of course, I love that stuff, so I'll get into that in a minute. Of course, Victor, uh, who's a long-time friend, um, you'll be pleased to know that uh, Victor has been to the election of Bega, um, and he learnt cattle judging at the Candlelight Show um, mm -hmm. one weekend. Um, anyway, we won't go into how commercial cattle are judged at a local country show, but um, he's a true friend and someone who makes an enormous contribution, not only uh, through his electorate, but also some of the incredible work that Victor has been doing in terms of cost of living pressures for the families of New South Wales. And uh, the finance portfolio is not an easy one. Um, and uh, I know that from experience, but the work that Victor has achieved around uh, particularly compulsory third party uh, is something which has now hopefully set that scheme on a more sustainable footing. And uh, as someone who's been involved in a car accident like I had with a high speed head on, um, the system before was absolutely corrupt. It's terrible. Um, and uh, Victor has now cleaned it up. So uh, thank you for the work that you've achieved in that space. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we are on the um, cusp of some very big step changes for our global city. And if I was to look at what's to happen in the next two years, uh, and having sat through probably more project team meetings than um, you know, I care to remember, and, and it is daily, uh, I can assure you, as infrastructure and transport industry is daily for me. Uh, what